the Yoda said to me, if you could get him to the hardware, can he can finish fifth or sixth? We'd be delighted. We got there today and they said, do you think we can win? I said, I'm on boys, we turned to goalposts. Our wild pile driver running a massive race from changing up the guard. Three wins, got to find more. Pile drivers all over the shop, but the King George winner comes back with a glorious win. And Royal Ascot in the hardware. In Saudi, we're racing. Horse got brought down. Clipped Tom Mark runs horses heels in it. It come into us. People say we ran a poor race in Saudi. He nearly broke his leg because he fell into us. And it's like you, you're galloping, and it knocked his knee sideways. So it was niggly away when he ran in Dubai, and when he won the King George. My vet has been unbelievable. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, keep, I said to my vet, I was bringing him every day. He said, What do you want to know now? I said, I said, Pete, I'm worried to death. This is the main thing in my life by my family. I thought I was having a heart attack about half an hour ago. I thought my heart's really, really got pain around it. But if it has, it's gone now, so it's fine. After he won the King George, I thought, let's just get it checked out. So we'd done an MRI scan, couldn't find anything. So we'd done other ultrasound scans, couldn't see anything. But my vet then just said, well, come on, let's just check some out. So he nerve blocked it and we found out exactly where it was. And it was just very, very minor. But he said to me then, my vet, he said, this can either come right in a very short time or it could niggle on and be a pain forever. And it was a pain for a long time. Last year we were going to go to the Ark and then we were going to go probably Breeders' Cup or Japan Cup, one of the two, and then Hong Kong. But we give him the time. And of course it's frustrating because we had a horse that was in, was in the prime of his life and would have gone on to all the big international races and we missed him. got to be the best I've ever trained. We've never, we've had a lot of good horses. We've won group twos and group threes. So we've had very, very nice horses, but this one has definitely got to be the best we've ever had. It's great to be at the top table, having a, having a chance in a race. To go there with a horse that's capable of applying himself at the highest level is fantastic. Cause that's what we dream about doing. We've got the Derby winner, the Irish Derby winner. So he's won dual derbies the horse that was second to him in the English Derby. Emily Up John, she was in it last year. Westover was in it last year. Last year we had the horse that uh, had won an arc and had finished, and he finished third in the, this year's arc. You know, Group One, King George, Queen Elizabeth. It's one of the most fantastic races in the calendar. And we've won it once. So, you know, if you look at the fantastic trainers over the years, it's names on that thing and then there's as on the bottom, I mean, it's quite, you know, I looked at the board at Royal Ascot and I went down the board and we're on the bottom and I think, phew, you know, shake your head and think we're there. It's a great story. It's a great story. He's not in one of the main big yards that everybody knows to get the big races. You can, you can put down who's going to have the big runners because I know Brian's got fantastic horses and he's a fantastic trainer, John Gosden, Tady Gosden. You could name the big boys because they've got a lot of horses and they get fantastic bred horses. We don't get that, so we're a small, small team. He didn't cost any money, so he's gone from rags to riches because he's won very close. I think it's only a smidgen off of two million. We've had horses that's been very good before, but you get the boys come in when they see they're good and they offer you big money and when you're a small owners at this game, you have to sell because it's the only way to make money. These boys have said, no, we want, we, want to, we want to live the experience. And they just come back and they said, no, no, we're not selling. And I'm fine, as long as you're happy, I'm delighted. Every time we get this horse going to the races, the excitement and the buzz, everybody knows him. It's a dream for them to get a horse like this and you know, why not keep living the dream?